Thompson. I am a potter. I would call myself a functional potter, so I make things that, that are useful, bowls and cups and plates, and but I do do some decorative pieces as well. And I am a hand builder, so I do not use the potter's wheel. I used to, but everything that I make is uh, built from slabs. When I first started, I used to fire in a gas kiln versus an electric kiln, which I do now. So there was a shift from using that gas kiln to an electric kiln. I changed clay bodies and glazes and everything sort of shifted when we moved back here because this is the first time I'm setting up my own studio. So it was a big switch and it took me a long time to kind of find something that was interesting to me and that I enjoyed making. Textures and colors have really obviously been part of the game these days and I really like the way that color is coming out in these pieces. So I'm excited about them and excited to share them. So I lived here in Lanesboro from 99 to 2006. And at that time, the Bluff Country Studio Art Tour was just starting, I believe. And then I moved away and was gone for nine years. And now I'm coming back and it's been my goal since we moved back in 2015 to be on the tour, so I'm feeling like I'm finally ready for that. I have a body of work that I think people will like and I enjoy. So I plan to have the studio space set up with items to purchase, but I also am going to have a little show space just off my studio here. I'm also going to have my sister-in-law here as a guest artist her name is Ina Lasme, but she is a painter. She does acrylics and mixed media abstract paintings and they're lovely. So she will be here as well. I just always have really liked surrounding myself with handmade objects. Just choosing and touching and seeing other people's art and using it in my daily life has always been a really important part of art to me so I it's always been my hope that my pieces bring that kind of joy to other people in their daily lives. 